Alrighty, we've made it back to my bedroom. Successfully no longer doing this in a car. I almost did, but then I'm like, I don't need to. And so we're good. So, um, how's it going everybody? This is what, episode six of this? Like my sixth day in a row of having a video out. And I've officially already hit the point where I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. I should sit like this so that I'm actually getting sunlight on my face or some form of light. I'm all shadowy. Oh no, I'm so emo. God, why? Um, yeah, so I mean, pretty sure Chase and Cheyenne are officially back. But I still haven't seen them. So I'm still all alone if you think about it. You know, the fact that I'm about to go hang out with a bunch of my friends and play Dungeons and Dragons and possibly kill one of my friend's characters, but you know, that's irrelevant. Um, though, uh, actually a quick update on that story. One of my other buddies reminded me that, uh, he does, uh, the cat has a magic item that might make him not die. Like, I would need to go out of my way to kill him, essentially. So he's probably gonna make it. That's good. I mean, he's, he's probably gonna get, he's probably gonna lose. But he'll probably live. And that makes me feel way better about things. So cool. That's great. Mm-hmm. That's, that's great. You know, sometimes in life, you just have to lean back and wonder, why am I doing the things I'm doing? And then, when you think that, that's when you need to take another step back and go, why are you wondering this on a random ass YouTube vlog? That's a good question. It's a damn good question. <laughs> yeah, this is basically just another rambling and coherent one. I was thinking about uh, talking about something else. Uh, but I actually figured it'd be better to save that for the podcast itself. So I'm not even going to hint at what that is. Uh, I'm, it won't take long, but I think it would be better as a discussion with Chase and possibly Cheyenne. So, um, instead of that, I... I'm going to talk about... Okay, oh, cool. Here we go. This will just be random. This is a video game. It's called Persona Q2. It's a really weird amalgamation and uh, crossover between the Persona series of RPGs and the Etrian Odyssey series of RPGs. So it's like a Persona game where you play as a bunch of high schoolers that are all friends and you're in a different parallel world and you have magical mind monsters called, uh, that you, like, use to, to fight the bad guys. But it's like Etrian Odyssey, where you're walking around in a dungeon, and you draw a map on the bottom touchscreen, because it's, it's a 3DS game, but it has no 3D functionality whatsoever. I'm kind of glad that people just gave up on that. It's a fun game. I haven't played it in a week, but it's fun, but that's mostly because my 3DS has decided to be completely a piece of crap. And the touchscreen just apparently blinks out sometimes. I, I really probably could find a way to fix that. It would probably just require quick Googling, or my 3DS, which I've had for a thousand years, is now dead. Uh, either way, that's kind of gotten in the way of me playing a game I bought, which is annoying. Uh, in terms of other Nintendo handhelds, uh, earlier today, Nintendo announced the uh, like the Nintendo Switch Lite, I think it's called, which is just a handheld version of the Switch that is even cheaper. And it doesn't have like the Joy-Cons, it's just like a, a handheld console, which is cool. That's cool. I'm not surprised that they were going that direction. I'd heard rumors they were going that direction. Good for them. I wish Persona Q2 were on it, because then I'd be able to play this goddamn game I bought. But that's fine. Uh, in other new Switch news, uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses comes out at the end of this month when I'm going to be out of town at a family gathering, but that's not the point. The point is, I'm really excited for this game. I think it'll be a damn great game, and I love Fire Emblem. I've been playing Fire Emblem games since the first one that came stateside or on the freaking Game Boy Advance. Oh, man. In other news, I'm watching animes. Just making my way 
back through because I had stopped watching The Legend of the Shield Hero halfway through. And uh, now I'm rewatching it because I forgot everything. And then I'll have finished it. I'm like halfway through now. I'm a little bit past where I was. So I wasn't actually halfway through. I lied to you. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. What else am I doing? Oh, Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus. Because I'm a nerd. That's the game I'm playing right now on my PlayStation 4. I'm also thinking about uh, trying to platinum uh, 2016's Doom. Because, I don't know, I feel like it's not going to be that hard. It'll just require a little bit of effort. Could probably get that done. Honestly, because Fire Emblem is coming out in July, I'm worried that's going to take up most of my month, especially with the rumors on how long that game supposedly is. Plus, with this multiple paths and all that, I don't know if I believe the hyperbole that it likely is. Never believe how long a game is when devs say how long it is. You can always cut that number and, like, at least, a f like, cut off, like, a fourth of it. Usually, like, a half. But they're saying, like, 80 hours per playthrough. And there's three playthroughs of that game, supposedly. So, like... I don't want that game to be that long, to be entirely honest. I'd be totally fine if it was, like, 40 hours per playthrough. That's still a really long fucking game. But it's not excessive. There's a point when games get too big. And I know there's, like, bang for your buck and all that sort of shit. And I like long games, don't get me wrong. I have put so much time into so many great games. Witcher 3, I took... Oh, there are games that have come out this generation that have taken me over 100 hours to just beat. Like, I didn't platinum them. I didn't, like, 100% complete finish them or anything. I just beat them. And it took me, like, 100 fucking hours. Like, Persona 5 took me, like, I think, like, 91. But still, like, holy crap. That's a long fucking game, man. I can be rough. I can be real rough. Blood stained at like 30 hours for that platinum was totally fine. Totally fine. No complaints there whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Oh, I never finished my thought. So, um, with Fire Emblem probably taking up all of my month of uh, August... I thought it'd be smart to get ahead of my Platinum game track. Because, again, I, I believe I've stated this on the podcast. My goal, one Platinum per month this year. I mean, like, averaging. I've been a little late a few times. Like, again, I got the, uh, I got the Bloodstained Platinum on, what, the 1st of July? So, you know, a little late. That was my June one, but whatever. No. Was that my... No, yeah, that was my June one, and I just got severed for July. I'll probably get Doom for, like, quote-unquote August, but I will be playing a game that I cannot platinum because it's on a Nintendo console. This has just been rambly as all hell, but this is where my brain's at. So, you know, that's a thing. Uh, I'm going to keep doing these until I see Chase and Cheyenne again. I will probably think more. Actually, I'll probably talk about my session in D&D &D tomorrow, uh, whenever that ends up being... And whatever ends up happening. Uh, but yeah. That's what I might transition these into. Like kind of. Once I'm done. <laughs> doing these every single day. Just to like shit around and fill up our. YouTube channel with content. Not good content mind you. Just content. I might do a video analyzing. My D&D &D sessions like every Thursday. After a game on Wednesday. Might make that a thing. Could be fun. If I have time. I'll figure it out. At some point over each weekend, I'll probably put one of these out. So yeah, that's my thoughts. But that's probably what tomorrow's is going to be. I really probably could have thought of something better than this today. But frankly, I almost forgot that I had to do this. It's like 4 o'clock now in the afternoon. And I'm like, I have like an hour before I need to be uh, leaving. Because I am 20 miles away from where I play D&D right now. So I love living 20 miles away from where my life is, really. All my friends, my work, my family. 20 miles away. But hey. You gotta do what you gotta do to get cheap rent in the L.A. area. Alright, well, uh, I will talk to you guys later. And, uh, whippy dippy doo doo da. That's my new sign-off. Whippy dippy doo doo da.